Hi there, this is Crystal. Hi there. Um, we're going to dig into Proverbs 7. It's 1.13, no, 9.23 p.m. All right, let's see if we can do this in about 15 minutes or less. Um, the whole point is to get the Word of God in you, instruction in you. A lot of people, maybe this is just the first chapter you're reading for the year 2017. It is well. You read it. That's the bottom line of it, right? So praise God. Let's go ahead and pray. Father, we bless you. We glorify your holy name, Lord God, for such an opportunity to come and learn at your feet. Lord God, to take upon your yoke that is easy, it's light. Father, receive all glory and help us, teach us by yourself, according to Isaiah 54, 13. And help us to be better people for your glory, to do your will. In Jesus' name, have your way. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to be at the bottom here. And I'm going to take this one off and pull up the word. <laughs> All right, Proverbs 7, praise God. It says, my son, keep my words. Okay, obviously I didn't do that, right? Okay, that's that one. That's this one. Okay, I did it wrong. Okay, praise God. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. You remember what we did with commandments in Proverbs 6? The Father's commandment, you should keep it. You know, it will lead you. My son, keep my words and lay up my commandments with thee. I'll be explaining as I'm going, as I get it. Um, so that we can move forward. Keep my commandments and live. And my law as the apple of thine eye. So let it be precious in your sight, right? Bind them upon thy fingers, write them upon the table of thy heart. So everywhere that is called close to you, everywhere that is called precious to you, let, let the commandments be inside there so that you don't forget. Right? Say unto wisdom, thou art my sister, and call understanding your kinswoman. You know, let them be relatives to you, people who are close to your heart, people that you think about. That they may keep thee from the strange woman. That same strange woman we talked about in verse um, in chapter six is evil. She has no good for you. She doesn't have any good plans for you. All her plans are leading on to death. Leave her alone. That they may keep thee from the strange woman, from the stranger which flat, flat, flatters with her words. For at the window of my house, I look through my casement, and behold, among the simple ones, I descend among the youths, a young man void of understanding. So this is the strange woman that is being talked about now. Passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way into her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. She's looking for somebody else's house. Now she is without. So she's out. Now in the street and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day, <laughs> I have paid my house. There's alcohol in the house. Uh, there's beer. Uh -uh. There, there is hard liquor. There's food. I have cooked. I have cooked rice. There's meat. The, what, do you, what do you want? It's in the house. Come on. Come on inside. Inside that house is death. She has no good plans for you. That food will kill you. That... Whatever it is that is inside the house is for death. It's leading to leave. Don't, don't even talk to that woman. Leave her in her corner. Let her die by herself there. <laughs> Good Lord, leave the woman alone. So she caught him and kissed him and with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day I have paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee diligently to seek thy face and I have found thee. Doesn't she sound like a woman now that goes to church? She has peace offerings. That's from the word of God. You know, back in the day of Leviticus. She has the peace offering. She has paid her vows. She has paid her vows. You know? Ah, I just paid my tithes. So 
everybody that goes to church is not a child of God. You know, therefore I came to to find you. You know, I've, I've been looking for you diligently, and and now I've, I've seen you. See, come, 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 come. I just paid my offering. Come, I just I just paid my tithes. You know, I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works, with fine linen of Egypt. The word of God says, "You that go down to Egypt, down, down." <laughs> As soon as somebody starts talking like this, you know, that's when you start running. What of God says, flee fornication, flee, flee, run, take your shoes and run. If you ever find yourself in that kind of situation, like a madman, just run and get out of there and praise God for it. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes and cinnamon. You see all the seduction? Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves, for the good man is not at home. He has gone a long journey. You remember the chapter 6 that just said that that person will be caught anyhow. This is the end of chapter 6. That person will be caught anyhow. You will not escape it. He says, can you walk on fire and not be burned? You know, it looks like this is a uh, continuation of chapter 6. He had taken a bag of money with him. And will come home at the day appointed. With her, with her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With her flattering of her lips, she forced him. You know, he goeth after her straight away as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till a dart strike through his liver as a bird hasted to the snare, and know it not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend unto the words of my mouth. Let not thy hand, your, your, your heart, decline her ways to her ways, you know, go not astray in her paths. For she cast down many wounded. Yea. Many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. Okay, let's see if we can take about three minutes, even though it's way early before we close this. What I've seen here is this woman, this strange woman, she's not going after the weak. She's not going after people that are going nowhere. The word of God says right here at the end, she has cast down many wounded, yea, many strong men men have been slain by her. She's going after strong men. You whose destiny is bright. You who the glory upon your head is bright. You who have somewhere that you are going to. That's who she's looking for at the corner where somebody starts talking sweet nothings into your ear that's not making sense. Run. The word of God said flee. Flee and then later worry about what it looked like. You know, run. She's looking after the strong the word of God says that Jesus, when he sees his seed, it will, it will satisfy him. Isaiah 53, you know, it was, it was, he will be satisfied and he will be given a portion with the great and he will share the spoils with the strong. For somebody to come to the point where they are now called strong. Do you know what that person would have gone through? What kind of experiences that person would have had to come up to that kind of level? And that's who this woman is looking for with her sweet mouth that goes straight. He says her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. That's who she's looking for. You who are going somewhere, you whose life has meaning, you who are focused, you know, your face is set at flint, you know, that's who she's looking for to mess up. Don't fall into her trap. Don't let your heart you know, decline into her ways. Don't go astray into her paths. You know, it says, attend to the words of the mouth of wisdom. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. She's, she's there for destruction. That's it. There's no good. God will help us in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you. We glorify your holy name, Lord God, for the exposure of this knowledge, Lord God, for understanding, Lord God, of, of the strange woman, Lord God, and some of her ways. Help us not to fall into her paths, Lord God. Men, women are like your children, wherever they are. 
that whenever we see the strange woman, whatever form she's coming in, Lord God, that we may go the other way and we may run away from wherever she is, Lord God, that we may not be that wounded that the word of God is talking about, Lord God. We will not be that strong that she's trying to fall, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, strengthen us and help us, Lord God, that we may not fall, Lord God, and after everything, Lord God, that we may stand in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Be blessed in Jesus' name.